Here's a little trick I found uh, to take care of a problem that we frequently uh, hear that occurs with the Instant Pot. As you know, after you cook something in there, you go and smell it. Uh, it retains a lot of the old uh, spices and flavors uh, that you had from previous cooking sessions. Anyway, so this is what I found that it actually works. So I brew some coffee right here today and the coffee grinds have a great quality in them. They can actually be taken out and you can actually put them into the pot and then close the lid on it and let it stay there for about 24 hours and it will take away those nasty odors. So what I do is I take a, a paper plate and I like to actually, since the grinds are a little wet, I like to take a little plastic food wrap and place it over the place it over the plate and like that so so that we don't have any uh, any of the wetness uh, ruin the uh, ruin the uh, plate make it mushy set it down in the in the bottom and then I take my coffee grinds here they are and I'm going to spill those in right on the right on the top. And I'm just going to let it sit there. And I'm going to spread that out a little bit to get the most surface area in contact with the air inside the crock pot or the uh, Instant Pot. All right, then I'm gonna take my, my lid, put that back on, close it, make sure the top is closed. Let that sit for at least a day, and then I'll go back, open it up, and uh, that uh, musty kind of onion odor or, or spaghetti or um, tomato odor is going to be gone. That's just a little tip on how to help your Instant Pot smell better.